Hello everyone, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. I sell full-time on eBay and a little bit on Poshmark. Um, I go to thrift stores, Goodwill, uh, yard sales, and I turn around and sell them for profit. So if this is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned because I'm going to be going over the sales for the second week in February from the 8th through the 14th. So the first item that I sold was a Brother Bear. Um, it's a It was a vintage... A, a pause applause uh stuff animal it sold for 21.88 and all the stuffed animals at my local goodwill are only 69 cents the next item was a retail arbitrage i picked up at walmart i believe i paid like 25 dollars for it um it was a sony cybershot digital camera uh, it sold for 89.88 next up is fox hunting picture with three um glasses it I believe I have um, $4 into it and it's sold for $39.88. Now don't be afraid to ship out um, breakables um, as long as you use a lot of uh, bubble wrap and, and you package it or double box it. Um, a lot of times it'll arrive safely. The next is a Creative Product Keys um, keyboard uh, that you hook up to your PC. I believe I paid $3.99 for this at Goodwill, and it sold for $29.88. Uh, next item I sold was men's Nautica Chukka boots that I purchased at Gorman's when I was going out of business in July. And then the buyer received them, tried them on, walked around their house, and said that they were not authentic and that they were used and they want to return them. So I do have free returns set up, so I told them that they were, that was fine. Um they're not used they were brand new but whatever i mean i mean that's just part of reselling is you're going to get people that are going to want to return it or they're going to change your mind or they don't like how they fit um i do offer 30 day return but the buyer does pay for the shipping back the next item is a vtech cordless telephone um it was a base with the two handsets uh and i believe it was an answering machine as well i paid 5.99 for it and it sold for 68.88 uh, the next is a pair of Levi's I got at Gorman's. Um, I believe I paid $5.49 for it, and they sold for $27.88. Uh, the next is a retail arbitrage. It is a little mini arcade. I believe I have $2.50 into it. Uh, it sold for $14.80 plus free shipping. And this was just a bad buy. I, ended up, I bought a lot of them, and adding free shipping, I'm only making like 5 bucks uh, each off of those, and I still have a lot left. Another item uh, I sold was a vintage handy holder for a half a gallon. Um, I scanned the barcode and I must not have been paying attention when I hit sell similar because this is not for a half a gallon. It was only for a quart. Uh, it sold for $19.88 and then the buyer received it and then they told me that it was the wrong item. So I just refunded the $20. Um, I only paid $0.25 cents for it and I just I don't believe that the buyer should have to send it back. Um, because I made the error. So I just told them that they can just keep it or they can donate it. It, it was fine. Um, the next is a Ubisoft Hercules Rocksmith guitar adapter cable. If you see my last video, you've seen I sold the other one. Uh, I either paid $1.99 or 99. It was priced differently at the store at Goodwill, but it sold for $20.88. Uh, next was a Wi-Fi booster, um, a Linksys. I believe I only have $1.99 into this, and it sold for $39.88. The next item is a Barbie um, sofa couch. It's like a wicker, kind of looks like a wicker set. I actually purchased it, this at Goodwill. It was in a big box. Um, there's a whole bunch of different Barbie stuff in it, so I parted it all out. Uh, so I might have a couple bucks into it. It sold for $33.88. The next item is a Ben Parker heat seal photo album. Um, it's kind of has like wax paper for the sheets. It sold for $29.88 and I believe I only paid $1.99 for it. Um, you must have a piece of hair or some dog hair in my eye. By my eye, I do apologize. Uh, the next item is Care Bear Parker, Parker Brothers Care Bear cards. Um, it was a complete set. I paid 99 cents on it. I have no idea why I had free shipping, and it sold for $10.88. Um, next up is a Miss Me jeans. They're ankle skinny jeans. Again, like I said, I will purchase clothing as long as it's something that I know that I can sell relatively quickly. The next item is a Nintendo Wii replacement console. It was just a console only. I sold it for $54.88. Uh, the buyer received it that day, 
and messaged me and told me he wants to return it because he got his other one working. Um, again, I have 30 day return set up. So if they want to pay the money to send it back to me, that's fine. I will always check the serial number. So whenever you list any type of item that has a serial number, always double check. So if it does happen to get returned, you can check the serial numbers to make sure it's the same item that you sent out. Another item I sold was a Sansu Sui um, VHS player. I believe I have $3.99 into it and it sold for $39.88. And then an Under Armour Youth Beanie Cap. Um, all the youth hats at my local Goodwill are only $0.69 cents and it sold for $10.88. And then a Tiger Woods PGA Tour um, Wii game. I just purchased it and then listed it and then it sold that day. Um, I paid $2.99 it sold for $14.88. So I'm wondering if maybe I priced that too low just because of how fast it sold. The next is a Panasonic desktop mini cassette transcriber. Um, I believe I only paid like 49 cents for this at Goodwill on one of their um, sale days and it sold for $94.88. I did test it and it, and it did work. Uh, the next item I sold was a First Skins Xavier uh, overall. I actually bought the plush, but then the plush ended up being really dirty and I just was not going to spend the time to clean it. It wasn't worth it. So I just decided to sell its clothes separate and they sold for $9.88. Um, I probably about 69 cents into it. The next item I only had listed for a couple days was a Build-A-Bear Grinch. Um, and it had it like a heart that lit up. It, I paid 69 cents for it and it sold for $29.88. Another item was a McFarlane Toy Stranger Things Barb. I purchased this uh, retail arbitrage at GameStop. I believe I only have like $1.29 into it and it sold for $12.88. The next item is a Medibeads Microwave Activated heat therapy wrap. I was not sure about this. I mean, it was only 49 cents. So I figured I'd just take a risk. Uh, it did take a little bit to sell and it finally sold for $28.88. Another item was a vintage. It was a vintage Heartstone cat cookie cutter mold. Um, it sold for $12. It was like stoneware. And I believe I paid 69 cents for that as well. Another item that sold was a Black & Decker space, space Maker under the cabinet uh, coffee pot. I did test it and I cleaned it out. Um, what I use to clean the coffee pots that seems to work is Effordent um, Denture Cleaning Tablets. I just popped a couple in it and ran the cycle through like four or five times and it, it got rid of a lot of the the staining of the um, the coffee. That sold for $74.88 and I paid $5.99 for it. Another item that sold was a Sony CD Walkman. I only paid $1.99 for this and it sold overnight for $149.88. Uh, this was brand new sealed and it was like a, a blue color. The next is Fall Raven. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying that, that right, but this is a shirt that I sold last week as well. I listed this again. It sold overnight for $39.88. And again, I'm wondering if I priced it too low, um, but who knows. The next is a retail arbitrage uh, at Walmart. It was Shopkins, a little vending machine. I believe I only paid $2.50 for it and it sold for $15.88. The next is a Toshiba uh, replacement remote. Uh, most of the remotes at my Goodwill are only like $0.69 cents or $0.99. Cents. Um, sometimes they'll run up to $1.29 and, and I usually will pick them up. Um, I do look up most of them though. Uh, this one only sold for $16.88. The next item is a Fisher Price Baby Soother. So if you ever see um, these, definitely uh, look them up because some of them are worth some money. Now, a lot are not, but um, you might run into some that are. This one, I believe, was only $0.99, cents, and I sold it for $28.88. Another item I sold was a Mizuno um, baseball glove. glove. I believe I paid $1.99 for it and it sold for $15.88. And then a Calista style dryer. Um, it's like a curling iron and it dries your hair at the same time. I believe I only paid $1.99 for it and this one sold for $34.88. 
And then the next item is, um, let's see, I'm not going to give you any of the makeup ones, is a Midnight Club uh, PS2. I started going through my PS2 death pile or money pile. And I actually had a whole box of PS2 consoles, um, PS2 games that I've picked up over, since summertime. I'm at local yard sales. I have a dollar into it and it sold for $11.88. And then uh, this is another console that I listed was a PS2 Slim Silver one. It sold for $69.88. I did include all the cables and a controller. And I think I actually underpriced every single one of my PS2s that I sold uh, just due to the fact that they sold so quickly. I'm wondering if I should have maybe asked $89 instead of $69. Um, but we'll never know now. The next is uh, PlayStation 2 lot. I just was like a driving games um they sold for $25.88 and I probably have about four dollars into them the next is a ps2 fat um playstation again I included uh the cables and then one controller both of these sold for $65 um the one I just purchased that day I bought uh ps3 a bunch of ps3 games um two controllers and then a ps2 for $30 so I I probably have maybe five dollars into this one. Um, the other Sony was seven ninety nine because that's generally how much it cost at the local Goodwill, and they both, like I said, they both sold for sixty five dollars. Uh, the next is a Sony PlayStation Two Slim, um, with the controller and all the all the cartridge or all the cabling that sold for sixty nine eighty eight. Again, seven ninety nine is what I generally pay. The next is a Guess uh, Los Angeles purse i i generally don't pick up a lot of purses because i'm not that knowledge in um, a lot of them but i thought this one looked really nice and it it looked like it was almost brand new i paid 5.99 for it and it sold relatively quickly for 29.88 another item is a funko pop buddy elf again this was the funko pops i a whole bunch of funko pops i purchased at goodwill for 2.99 and it sold for like i said 12.88 the next is a gumball machine. Um, I paid, I believe, $2.99 for it, and it sold for $24.88. Now, I'm not sure I would pick that up again because I underestimated how much packaging and shipping material I would use that would make the weight a lot heavier, so I paid a little bit more for shipping than I wanted to. Um, and that looks like that is most of the sales. I didn't include any of the makeup ones. I did actually have a bunch of uh, makeup sales as well. But that is what I sold uh, for the week between the 8th and the 14th. Um, my gross sales was was about $1,200. Um, and that's after cost of goods and everything. Uh, my actual total sales was $2,229.90. Um, after eBay fees, it was like fifteen forty one oh five. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good week. I was actually pretty surprised. Um, I wasn't sure because my sales weren't weren't that great, and then just over the weekend, it it seemed to to hit a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I do have a short clip to local Goodwill um, at the end. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Right, so right now I'm at my local Goodwill. Um, as you've seen in previous videos, I always like to head to the electronics department or section first um, just to see if there's anything new that they put out. I typically, typically go around 12, 30, 1 o'clock because that seems to be when they start um, bringing out new merchandise. This particular day, I don't think I found too much in this, in this section. And then next, I usually go to where they have um, mugs and glasses. Again, I always look for the Starbucks ones or any other unique design um, that sticks out. I don't do, do a whole lot in this particular section. I'm just not knowledgeable enough.
Now, right here are Mary Kay, um, like Mary Kay Cosmetics. I did end up purchasing them, and then when I got home, I realized the one um, butter dish, which can go for some pretty good money, uh, had a little chip. I still listed it, though, because you could easily touch that up if, if somebody really wanted to. A lot of the cookie jars um, I find are really nice, but they all have chips on them, and I just, I'm not going to purchase them if they're chipped up like that. And the pots and pans are always hit and miss. Um, I did end up picking this up. Uh, it's a pressure cooker, an electric pressure cooker. Um, the inside of it looked really, really new too. And then in this section, I always look for Pampered Chef stoneware um, that sells pretty well. Or KitchenAid mixing replacement bowls. None of those figures go for any money um, worth picking up. Always try to look for Cutco knife blocks. It's just a no brand purse. Sometimes you'll see people hide stuff if they want to come back later and pick it up, but that wasn't, that purse was nothing. This section, I, I don't even know what I'd be looking for, to be honest. Um, sometimes I look for glass uh, paperweights. Sometimes those, those can do pretty well um, if they're unique. Here I just look for uh, vintage perfume or um, a lot of times I'll find new old stock items on this section here. I have no idea what those car rooms went to. Those are headlight covers, but I could not find what they fit or I would have picked them up because they were only $1.99 and they seem to sell pretty well, but I could not find what year and make um, of the vehicle they fit. And sometimes um, if you run into a lot of vintage yarn, definitely uh, scan some of those because some of those can be worth some good money. Um, I picked some up a while back, six of them, and they sold for like $70, and they were only $0.99 cents each. That was just uh, my life doll. I always love to see if you could ever find any American girl, but I, I never have. Not at Goodwill, anyways. And every once in a while, I'll look through the books. Um, I always try to look for like some older uh, Stephen King books sometimes can sell very well, or sometimes they'll have um, Dungeons and Dragons books in that section. Um, these are a couple of the carts that they pushed out that have not been processed yet. And this is generally where I find a lot of my stuff, um, stuff that hasn't hit the, or hit the shelves yet. It's a Harley Quinn plush in my shopping cart right ball. And then this is their furniture room, um, which will soon be something else since they're not going to be collecting furniture. They stopped collecting furniture January 1st of this year. 
So it'll be interesting to see what they put in there. Um, Cause like I said, I'm starting to get out of a lot of the clothing, unless it's something I know that can sell relatively quickly. And you can make good money um, with clothing. I just don't enjoy taking the pictures and doing all the measurements. Um, now, if that was my only option and I didn't have a lot of hard goods, then I would, I would sell clothing then, but I prefer to sell hard goods instead. Now, that thing in the corner right there was a hair dryer. It was like orange, but I, I did look it up and it really wasn't worth any money. Um, bread machines, like I told you before, sometimes I'll purchase them just to sell the pan and the paddle inside. Um, you can do pretty good with that. That was just a homemade uh, doll bed. And again, here I always look for Napa Valley. Um, CD or VHS crates. I did find one the one day, but it was missing the backing and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't purchasing it for that. Sometimes those little wicker chairs up there, like that doll one can go for okay money, but that I looked it up and that one was, it was coming apart in a couple of spots. So it really wasn't worth me picking up. And that is it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.